You go to design your homepage, you're all excited to create the most fabulous page, and then you quickly realize you have no clue what to put on it, what should go where, or also how to make it look like the incredible vision that you have going on in your mind. Does that maybe sound about right? If that's a yes, then no fear. In today's video, I'm going to run through with you the five vital items you need to have on your homepage. And I'm also gonna show you some amazing Squarespace website examples, which are doing this so well. Now, due to popular demand, I know not everyone has a budget for a custom website or 12 hours to take a course like My Square Secrets course in order to learn how to build a website from scratch themselves. So I decided to actually put together a list of my favorite website templates built by some amazing Squarespace designers on my website. So if you'd like to peruse some super well-designed sites for inspiration, or maybe because you realize you're actually completely in over your head with this whole site design thing, you can just head to the new templates page on my website at the link in the description below or just keep watching and I'll share some of my favorites and the lessons you can learn from these wonderful site designs in this video. Now, item number one you need on your homepage is a quick tagline or description of what your business or brand this website is for, who that brand or business serves, and bonus points if you also work in how it's different too. Now, this typically goes at the very top of the page, AKA above the fold. That means before someone scrolls down the page, and the reason for this is if someone needs to pretty quickly understand what your site is about and whether or not your business or brand might actually have the solution to their problem, they need to see that at the top, not like buried somewhere else in the website. So that's why we want to get this right out the gate, clear what you do, who you serve, how you're different on the very top of the page. Okay, so on this Montreux template, we have a section here, the top right to describe whatever it is that you or your business or your brand does, a bit more space here, and then also a call to action button as well. So this is a perfect example of like having a space to make these sorts of statements at the very top. If we also go to the Hunter Interiors website, you might think it's beautifully done. Um, so interiors to make you feel something. And then you'll also notice they sort of gave like, with a template, you can obviously customize anything, but like award-winning luxury interior design firm based in New York City, serving clients worldwide, amazing. So that gives me again, the key things, what it is you do, who you serve, where you are, that sort of stuff. And if we come over to the penny template, then again, we have a section for text here where you could import that information. And also very well done in the little bottom left corner there, they say a boutique marketing agency, sometimes using these like little bits of text in a place which like isn't super, let's say like, it's not a main focus of the page, but you can get in the words. Also really great for like putting in your SEO keywords and somewhere small like that. Item number two that you need, your offerings snippet. So if the purpose of your website is to sell something, we don't actually want to do that on the homepage typically because we're probably gonna need sufficient space to explain said offering. So instead of putting the full details of every product or service on your homepage, we have those on their own separate pages. And instead on the homepage, we just kind of like tease and give quick snippets about your offerings. Okay, so this template here from our friends at Big Cat Creative, um, they have a viewer services section and then it's sort of like there's an image for each different service, the title, which is very clear, a little bit of a description and then a button to click and learn more. And so each of these clicks would take you to three different pages which have these three different like offerings, for example. Um, that's how I would set it up. Also over here on this London real estate template, they get into all the bits we talked about and then they go, their sort of like offerings are a bit different. They are buying houses, selling houses, and then investing as well. That is also like three different, again, ways you can basically work with this company. And then if we come over to the Quinn Stoll website from Go Live HQ, they have all the details and their offerings like this specific website template is sort of intended for, let's call it like an online, like pers expert personality, whatever you want to call it. Someone who does like a podcast and speaker, podcaster, influencer, that sort of thing. Um, so their offerings are a bit different. It's like they're a consultant, they're a podcaster and they're a speaker. So those are their three different offerings. And again, I hope that these three different websites give you inspiration for the different ways you can sort of like arrange the look of these different offerings on a page because they've done it in three very different ways, but they all look really fabulous. Item number three, the about snippet. So if you have a personal brand or a very forward facing team 
or a founder for a business brand, or alternatively, if you have a pure business brand with a really clear mission and reason for existing, an about section snippet is perfect to put on your homepage too. And just like with the offerings snippet, we are basically giving the main quick hints of information, but holding back on the full story and all of the details until they click over to the full about page. So in this section, you'll want a short section of copy, a call to action to the full about page. And again, if it's a personal brand or a very founder centered business brand, definitely a photo of that person too. If it's a more like traditional business brand, maybe a photo of the entire team or your office space, for example, could also make sense. So here we have a really lovely design and a perfect example of an about section. Again, this is very much so like personal brand type vibe on this specific template. Um, so about me, a little space of text and then a little button, call to action button. And then you'll notice like they're using, there's three different photos on this section, a different color background and everything. So the design of it is beautiful. You'll notice it's not like three photos of the one girl, um, but other pictures, which sort of give you like the brand vibe and isn't just three photos of her. <laughs> Then on the Quinn template, we have the same thing. So about Quinn, speaker, podcaster, and influencer, section of text, more about Quinn. And then they've also put in some social links here too. And again, we have a photo of Quinn and then also a like another image, which fits. Like you'll notice the like neutral tones and the like beige brown looking tones and everything fit between the background photo and the foreground photo. And so that sort of like pulls these two different images together, which looks really good together. So also keep that in mind when you're designing your own website, making sure that there is consistency between the photos that you're putting together, unless it's like intentionally contrasting. But again, that's a bit more difficult to pull off and look good. So if you're just starting on building your own website, stick to something like this example here. Item number four, your portfolio and past works snippets. If you're a service provider, or product previews if you're a product-based business. So if you're a service provider, you wanna give proof that your work is incredible. Generally, that's done via a portfolio. And so I really recommend you to have individual pages, each one dedicated to a past project that you've done. And one of the things that I see so often service providers do is like they take one screenshot, for example, your rep center, they take one screenshot of the homepage and that's the entire portfolio piece. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> there's so much opportunity here. We definitely want like, definitely as many photos of the work as you can get of like, say if you're a rep designer, all the pages, if you're a interior designer, all the areas of the home and everything that you've done, and then speak about the project, give the story, talk about the client, talk about what was the before and the after and what they were dreaming of. And if they have a testimonial that they gave you, put that into the portfolio piece too. talk about the type of package that they booked and link over to that package. So there's a lot of things that you can do on your like portfolio pages. But again, sorry, that's not on the homepage, it's on a portfolio page. On the homepage, we're just sort of giving again, snippets of previews of the portfolio pieces. And then for products, if you're a product-based business, it's best practiced on your homepage not to list all of your products, but maybe pull a selection of them onto the homepage with, if you're using Squarespace, there's a tool called the summary block and the method template has done this really well. They're linking to their favorite products, which then each link to a relevant product page for more details. On the Hunter Interior site, this is for an interior design firm. So they're linking here, say to a bold dining room makeover, for example. Then as I click in, we can go into that specific portfolio piece. And this template's done a really good job of a little bit like guiding you on what you should be writing on here. So again, it has like a title for the specific project. It has a space where you can maybe put like a testimonial and then more information on the project. I would recommend in terms of like SEO benefits, write a lot more than what's right there. With this template or again, any of these templates, you can, your content doesn't need to like fit. Like it, you can keep typing it allow you to put more in there, if that makes sense. Um, and then they have some like quick details like project scope, timeline, that sort of thing. Um, so that's fantastic. It could also be like the, the package that they booked with you if you have different packages or whatever. There may be like style that they're choosing. For example, if it's an interior design project, is it like modern or minimalist or Scandinavian or whatever? Um, and then photos of the actual work and then a call to action to work with them. So again, this like, this design of this page is really well done and that again, it's guiding you as to what you should be putting in here. And then this template is intended for a wedding photographer. And so if I come down here, we have the lover's gallery. So again, if you're a um, wedding photographer, then you might, I mean, you might have a different blog post or so for like each and every different wedding that you've done, but you might, so, might also have like one page, which is just like, okay, all your weddings, 
or your favorite shots of all these different weddings or your favorite shots of all these different engagement sessions or whatever it is. This here gives you the ability to either link it to like a specific couples shoot or again, you could do like weddings, engagement, babies, something like that. So again, this is all starting on the homepage with like a very quick snippet of the like portfolio pieces or the photos or whatever. Um, and then in, once we get into the interior pages, we get into more details, but on the homepage, just little snippets. Item number five, a blog preview. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't have a blog, so I'll just skip this section. But if that's your thinking, hold your horses, friends, we need to talk. A blog is SEO gold. If you want your website to rank in Google, you are going to want to blog, end of story. I have two more videos which will help you with this, which I will link below. One is the basic beginner's guide on how to grow a blog from zero readers and a tutorial on how to actually use the Squarespace blogging tool. If you've been wondering why your site isn't showing up in the search results, your lack of content on your website is probably the main culprit. So if you've been ignoring blogging up until now, I really encourage you to rethink that decision. Now, before I got into YouTube, I blogged my way to a million dollar business. And while blogging might sound old school because it's a marketing strategy that's been around for like a really long time, it's still genuinely super, super valuable. But back to my point, a section with a snippet of your most recent or most popular blog post is also really helpful. And here's a few examples of blog snippets. So in this template, they've done it beautifully. They have their blogs pulled in. It has um, an area where you can have the category and the title um, of the actual post. It has a little bit of like a card style with a green bit happening below the image. And then the word blog, which is sort of the one is actually slightly overlaid over that piece of text. So this is a really beautiful design. Coming over to the method template, we have recently on the blog, again, they're putting in, it looks like the tags that the things are tagged as, um, a little snippet of the actual text and then a read more link and some beautiful photos. And again, this is all using the Squarespace summary block. If you're unfamiliar with that, I have a bajillion tutorials on Squarespace on this channel. So you can go find them and learn what a summary block is and why it's amazing. And then this one here is a really interesting take on it too. So she's actually done just like two different images and then featured posts. So it's not like multiple blog posts are being featured here, but just one. Um, and so you could have the title there, a little bit of snippet of information and a read more. So if you have like one blog post that is absolutely killing it on your website, then you could have that be the featured post, for example. Um, so that's the one that's obviously the most popular and your people enjoy the most. Now I realize you probably still need help determining exactly what to write on your homepage. So I have one more treat for you. If you head to the link above or in the description below, I have for you my homepage content planner workbook, totally free. And then after that, I would highly recommend checking out this video next. It explains the outdated web design trends that you should avoid when building your website so it doesn't look super 2017.